here we're looking at another example testing our ability to recognize a graph and if it's connected so so if this graph is connected all that means is that I can get from every vertice to every other vertice in the graph so I can start anywhere and then travel along these edges and find my way to every other vertice in the graph so if I start here it's an arbitrary starting point I can walk to this at vertice over here along this edge I can walk this way to this vertice I can keep going and then I have two choices here I can come back this way or I could have come back this way which means that if I start at this vertice over here I could have gotten to this one this one and this one and that's it despite the fact that these two graphs look very connected because of all the edges that are crossing over each other there really is no point, way to get off this edge, for example, onto these other purple edges. This is not a vertice. Even though the edges look like they're crossing, there are many scenarios in, in which they might look like they're crossing, but really have no interaction whatsoever. Think of a train and a subway. Their paths might cross, but the subway is below ground and the train is above ground. They're not really crossing even though from above it might look like that. The same idea is here. The entire purple graph has no connection to the orange graph, so altogether they're disconnected. If I wanted to connect these, I could put a vertice where? I, I, could, I could put one right here, and now I have the ability to get from the orange to the purple. I could have put one here, here, here. Any point where the edges cross, we could put a vertice, and that would enable us to travel from one graph to the other. And it, it is important to realize that um, we, can, we can design roads and networks in ways that are connected or are not connected. And I also realized I should have drawn this right there because that's part of the, the orange graph as well. And these vertices would also connect the graph. So if we wanted to connect them, we could pick a vertice at any of these points and draw it in and recreate it. It would be a new graph, but then this would be connected. Alright, hope that